fairly stable economy due to government. Cheyenne is kind of a traditional western town. We have about 53,000 people. A small town feel with large town conveniences, I guess. It's grown a lot in the last 10 to 15 years. It's cold and it's windy. <laughs> the summers are absolutely beautiful, just short. Great community though, gotta say. The people are awesome. Cheyenne um, is a unique place in the fact that the community is um, very focused on education. Uh, we have um, a really a spread of uh, socioeconomic uh, families that live in Cheyenne. Um, we have kids that come to us that are high readers and ready to learn and kids that have never been read to in their life. Uh, my teachers have been, I've got three teachers that teach uh, Linwood Bell, so they've all been um, trained in those courses. And I have two facilitators that have been uh, certified in Linwood Bell. And then the district provides a teacher on special assignment. And that individual meets with me um, probably every other month. Just And then the district implemented the teacher on special assignment model. And I applied for that. Um, I'm assigned to six different schools, not just Saddle Ridge. So I um, go in, coach and pace multiple groups at multiple levels. Um, and so it's just kind of embedded into what I do. I think initially having somebody come in and coach you or you know mentor you or whatever was, was a little bit disconcerting to people. Um, you know, we're human and we're, we're not sure what the objective is or you know what the reasoning is and so I think there was some trepidation there but um, over time I think people have have come to realize that it's just about being better at what and we do. I learned a new approach to teach the student I hadn't been reaching to thinking of the way I'm providing instruction differently and to hone that in on those kids skills so that is something that that live person to talk to and them to demonstrate and model that true coaching has been, I mean, there's nothing to replace that. And so I'm going through the certification process and I'm expected to run groups, but then there's someone coming in to provide modeling if I need, if I've forgotten how to do something, or they're writing the lesson plans, they're checking to see um, if we're on track with our students. So it's really nice to have that support. They're there, you can ask a question right away and get an answer as to whether a student's progressing the way you want them to progress and what we could do differently. So it's nice to have. You know, as teachers, we want to be good at everything right away. So you get impatient with that process. Um, so even three years in, three and a half years in, I still feel like there's so much I need to know. Um, it is a rigorous kind of process, you know, as far as it's Yeah, so, so that's one of the things that I really love about the certification process is, is that we not only talk about the program, but we also look at, you know, they're always bringing us other pieces of research and that type of thing, you know, to support what is, what is it that, you know, we're doing. And I'm the elementary principal here, but I'm also a summer school principal. And so I run the, the Reading Academy at one site. And what I've noticed, um, you know, because Linda Mubel is getting better at securing what a summer reading clinic looks like, um, the last two years I've saw growth. So I progress monitored the kids that were there that summer. We had all one whole year here, the summer, and then this fall, their MAP scores, none of those kids that attended the reading clinic had the summer slide. And we always IRPs, had individual reading plans and we had a high majority of kids start out the year on IRPs, which means they were below the 40th percentile on their reading scores. And when we retested again this winter, um, I had a high majority of those kids come off the IRPs. So it just shows that Lenny Bell is helping kids make progress and show growth, and it's good. Yeah, yeah. I worked before school for a girl in the IB program who was a had difficulty reading. She came to her office and said, you know, I've been getting along for a lot of time and I can't anymore. I am, I am struggling and it's because I, I don't read well. Kind of found that she, she had some, a few decoding issues and so we just, you know, just I worked the program with her in the mornings before school. At the end of the year when we retested her, she had made like five, six years of growth in some of the areas, you know, so, so, so she was one of those students that just needed 
that little push, just that little push. I think the, the huge thing for us at, here at Guild of Kids here at school, our data shows that these, the kids that have been in Linden and Bell groups over time, they're just, they are closing the gap and it's just pretty amazing. It's a, really the most solid fundamental intervention that we've put in place that's really shown super results for us and we're really excited about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we just actually, I'm doing reading assessments right now, and I am surprised that um, the last time we did them was the end of January. I have kids who have gone up six book levels, six levels, which is huge. Just the progress that they've made is just amazing. I've noticed it since I started using Linda Mood Bell in the classroom. They learn so much faster and so much more in depth than they did before. See what I've seen with some of my kiddos it was worth the extra time that, that we have put into this because at the end, they're our future.